Guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, is this is this is today the first day you've been able to talk about it? Oh yeah, the group chat has been alive and well this entire time. Uh, and we have just not been able to say anything. Like uh, we've been seeing billboards of ourselves in, like in all of our respective homes. And it's like, we you can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's very disorienting to walk down my block in New York and see my face, but not be able to like talk about it. Um, but, you know, very grateful that uh, there was a deal and that we can now talk to you. Cause today, today is the first day we're talking to any like official people about the show. Yeah. And I think apart from when the deal was agreed and signed and sealed, apart from a post on Instagram, I think, yeah, this is the first we are, we're actively talking about the work that we've done and the work that the team have crafted. And yeah, it's nice to, it's nice to be able to, to, to be able to share, um, to share the thoughts and feelings. And obviously the world has changed a lot since the first Goosebumps came out. I think it was in 1992 when I was like 10. Is Goosebumps still scary? Have you read some Goosebumps? Is it still scary? Does it still kind of hold up all these all these years later? I mean, Goosebumps was something that was always in the primary school or elementary school bookshelves. Um, and when you're that age, of course it's going to be scary. Um, we're all a bit more adult now. I'm 25. So as far as the the shock factor of that is, it's still as scary. I don't know, but the TV show is scary in the nineties as it's jumpy moments. The movies definitely have jumpy moments, and so does our series. And I feel like what we've been able to do with our show is bring it to a very wide audience. So there's going to be ultra scary moments to younger to a younger audience. But also I've watched a show with my parents and they're jumping out of their skin when some moments happen. So like there's it, there's something scary for everyone. It just depends on how far your scare factor is. I'm going to say the books are still scary because the reason R.L. Stein works and the reason why the show really works is because it's all about the element of surprise and all the twists. And so like, I obviously read the books when I was a kid, but as you get older, you forget the, you know, the, the little nuances and the moments and all the, the gotchas. And I remember when I was auditioning uh, for the role of James, uh, I was reading Say Cheese and Die. I like went to the bookstore and I got a bunch of books and stuff and I was like reading them, manifesting. And I'm reading Say Cheese and Die and like I was getting spooked and I was like, wait, like what's going on? So yeah, the show is definitely really scary. Um, it draws from a lot of uh, iconic moments in the original book series and then also uh, creates a lot of new ones. Yeah, I, I mean, echo everything that they said. Uh, I mean, I particularly like, the the troll is like really freaky like seeing uh i remember seeing anna plays isabella just on set and it would like it would get me sort of sort of uncomfortable um but you know i think the great thing about horror is that it ages really well um you know mm -hmm. i i love some of the old stephen king books and you know i, I read some of the, the goosebumps books like kind of just to get a sense of the world on this show and like i think they hold up and um I think I even saw something like R.L. Stein say, like, the world is much scarier now. And uh, I think our show is like a direct representation of that. Um, it's 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 an updated version of the show that I think appeals to the, the chaotic and uh, wild world that is 2023. Take me back to the to the beginnings then for you guys in terms of the, the audition process and, and getting cast because I can imagine for for any sort of TV show or film that the, particularly with TV shows that the, the casting can be quite extensive so maybe Zach I'll start with you because you're obviously playing this quarterback but you're obviously from the UK tell yeah. me about how that came about first and then maybe it can filter down to the other guys in terms of how this all came about for, for each of you. Uh, I mean the uh, the casting process for me was uh was 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 kind of last minute um i think myself and isa who plays margot i think we were the last two to be cast um i did a self tape in the uk um with uh, one of the scenes was the the pep rally speech which i love doing that was that was so fun that was friday of the first week 
and another scene with uh with Margot. So it was a self tape, and I didn't hear anything for for about three weeks, three four weeks. Then had the call to say I had the uh the the chemistry read the following day. Did the chemistry read, and that was on the Thursday. But because of the time difference, I was on the call until about two a.m. Um, got off the call the following morning. I got the amazing call and the amazing news to say I've got the job. And the original information I had was you're going to be flying to Vancouver in two weeks. So I thought, okay, cool. I got two weeks to prep. I got two weeks to to delve into the script. Two weeks to absorb American football. Two weeks to do. But then I had a call later on that day saying it's not going to be two weeks. It's two days. So then I had Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday I flew. And then Tuesday I was in for rehearsals. So it was like, you got the job, go. <laughs> so it was quite a quite a speedy process that um I had to just kind of just jump in with both feet really. You were so tired. I remember you I mean you like pushed through, you got off this plane like 11, <laughs> 11 hours or something, and then went straight to Anna's apartment, who plays Isabella. And so all of us were there and like all like meet and greeting, it's like midnight. And like, I mean, you just went. <laughs> on it like dialed in like how many times like you fell asleep like on the floor when we're all like hanging out <laughs> like, <laughs> like, i'm out man no but Zach, Zach really rallied really rallied eating his steak and sort of like being like i'm awake i'm here <laughs> a month into filming you were like guys i feel like i feel like this is the real me i feel like you guys really know me now i feel like i'm awake <laughs> <laughs> definitely took a little while yeah bro that that moment with the steak was so funny i was literally I was just falling asleep into it. I was like, no, I'm here, man. I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah, we all had auditioning. I guess sometimes uh, that is good uh, though, right? To jump to jump in, to just jump in rather than have all that uh, kind of two weeks prep. It was probably it was quite no, quite good in it in a way. Quite a blessing. There was no time to kind of overthink. It was just yeah. get in there, do it, and just bring everything you can in a very short amount of time. But for me was a challenge, a challenge I haven't necessarily had to do before. So yeah, it was something new. It was definitely a crazy experience, but it was something that I wouldn't change for the world. Yeah. Miles, how was it for, for you? How was the, was it, was it as, as quick or was it a little bit more drawn out? Um, yeah, I mean, like it was similar in the sense that we were doing it um, all through Zoom. And so I got an audition originally for the role of Lucas. And then I sent that and like within like a couple hours, it was like audition for James. And then the next day I auditioned for James and then I didn't hear back for a bit. And then it was like your chemistry reading. And I read with uh, a bunch of different Isaiah's because I didn't meet Zach until, you know, the night that he flew in and we're all in Canada. So our first time working together was um, in the pilot in the scene where it's after the pep rally and I get to see like Sam for the first time. That was the first time we ever worked together, um, which I think is like, it was such a great scene and like kind of going back to um, the auditions, you know, they really wanted us to improv and really bring ourselves to the role. And so uh, in the auditioning process, I took a lot of risks and was just like throwing things out there. And that's exactly what they wanted, you know, on set. So I remember like that first um, scene we did together, it was like, you know, we were just kind of jumping off the page and like going off each other. And it was just like a really cool moment of like, oh wait, this is really gonna work. Like this is, we could do this for six months. Cool. Like, you know, we could do this forever. Like, so yeah, it was a, a really quick process and then a bit of waiting. And then it's like, oh, that this, now we're just gonna do it. So yeah, a lot of kind of like get ready and go. Yeah, I mean, it, it was, I did I did two kind of self tapes um where they gave me like different scenes and and then it's and then it sort of happens like in a whirlwind like my my agents were just sort of like all right um so they actually really like you and um you're gonna do a, you're gonna do a test in two days and you're gonna like sign a test deal and like all of it starts to happen very quickly and I and then I, I got on the zoom and it's it's like kind of a marathon session it's like you know, four hours. I think mine was like four hours when it was all said and done, just waiting and switching rooms. And um, and then I actually tested with Anna. And it was so crazy because the entire time I was trying to figure out how I knew Anna. Um, and like, it happened that like two weeks before I hadn't met her, but I'd seen her in a play. 
Um, and then I, I messaged her on Instagram after the test and I was like, wait, I think I saw you in this like play. Um, so it all felt very like serendipitous and, um, you know, it was, it was a, it was a really cool, cool moment. So, but it happened very quick. Amazing. What was the, what's the, what's the, what was the icebreaker for you guys? Was there, you know, a song that broke the ice? Was there a film discussion that broke the ice? What was the, what was the discussion? Or obviously you have your WhatsApp groups now. What was the discussion that kind of broke the ice that kind of merged you all? Because one of the great bonuses of doing something like this is that you guys obviously hopefully become friends afterwards. Miles guessed my Zodiac chart. Oh yeah, I did. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you walked up and you were like, hey, I'm Will. And I was like, you're a Gemini? (laughs) <laughs> like, I was like, I'm from Los Angeles. We know these things. That's so, That's fun. so funny. I was going to say, Anna, like day one, like it was like Will, Anna, and I were cast first. And so we're waiting. And I just remember Anna almost like this was like on the call sheet, almost like this is something that's expected. She was like on her phone. I was just like, wait, I have to, we have to buy, we're not really strangers like the game she's like oh we have, we have to get that like and so we got like every iteration of we're not really strangers we have all answered all of those questions through the duration of filming but specifically in the beginning like it was just pull a card spill your heart like we like I remember being on set and then getting a call from Anna being like hey when you're done we're all in my apartment we got the new the new edition we're doing it and so it's like every intimate question you could possibly imagine being asked we have all answered <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's good in the in the whatsapp group then there's a final question who's the who's the one that has the most who uses emojis most and who is the one that types the most that's always a fun a fun question because you can learn a lot about someone if they type a lot on whatsapp or if they just use emojis right i mean uh i'm a sucker for a facetime but these guys always get really mad at me <laughs> <It's time>. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, I, I will like something that you send me on instagram and then you'll FaceTime me. And I'm like, girl, that's not how it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm slightly old fashioned in that way that I like a phone call that I could, I could yeah, do yeah. this to that, but we can get through this whole facade on a phone call, but now we can do it on the FaceTime, which is crazy. So I'm like, let's all get together and do it. But it was like, bro, stop FaceTime. Just text me, man. And I'm like, okay, okay, We'd okay. Plan your chat, and then Zach would be like, what's the plan? And I'd be like, what's the plan? <laughs> <laughs> always like read the group chat <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff good stuff uh guys my time is about to run out but uh thank you so much for for your time today uh i'm so glad you guys get to you know go back to work and talk about talk about the show because it's been out for a little while so i'm really pleased that you get to you get to do that and thanks so much for your time really enjoying the show so i look forward to watching the end nice thank, you. thank you thank you Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey! hey.